As a nurse in a country battling several epidemic diseases, Lerato Musunzi sometimes vaccinates other South Africans but says that there is no way she'll take the COVID-19 shots when it rolls out. She doesn't trust it or will... She does, she does not trust it will be safe or effective. Now that South Africa has put on hold the use of AstraZeneca's vaccine, another data after data showed it may not protect sufficiently well against the country's dominant coronavirus variant, Musunzi feels even less inclined. It is a feeling, she says, she shares with most of the 17,000 young nurses in her Indaba union. Despite working under difficult conditions with a lack of adequate PPE gear, Colleagues are attracting and consequently succumbing to COVID-19. The mother of two is determined that being vaccinated is not an option for her. That assures healthcare workers that indeed this vaccine is safe, that indeed this vaccine will not leave many of us having secondary conditions until we are, we are sure that it does not only pose danger to us, but also it is safe for our loved ones, the communities we serve, that it is. We do not trust the vaccine. Obviously, there's a lot of con contradicting stories out there. Who itself has not given us the confidence so much? And also, the very manufacturers of the very vaccine have not come out and said, look, we, we, we put our heads in the guillotine. We can definitely say this is safe. This is for everyone. The pandemic has, however, <clears throat> created an anxiety. Uh, not least because of the way the, the, the vaccines have been developed. Nothing wrong with that, but perhaps the way that it's been communicated, the urgency around it and the anxiety that seems to be fueling it, together with um, a, a, a lack of knowledge about why this needs to happen, to get something so quickly, it's, it's a bit worrying. We don't even know. We don't even know what's going on. We, we don't know whether to trust it or not. So honestly, no. No, I will not be taking the vaccine. I am not comfortable at all about it, and I will not advise anyone to go for it unless you're brave enough. But for me, it's a no. I'm scared to take, to take the vaccine. But should um, I see a positive outcome from others who take it before me, I'll, t I'll surely take it. I'm willing to take it, but I want to see the side effect from others. Mary Nyekwala fled South Sudan in 2016.